This Yemeni mother has 10 children to feed, and this is where they live, in a makeshift camp for internally displaced people in the remote Hajja province in northern Yemen. We're living under a tree and we don't have anything. There are snakes, which we're scared of. Yesterday, we had to kill one that got too close. I struggle for my children. I beg so that I can feed them. Fighting between pro-Houthi forces and fighters backed by the Saudi-UAE coalition has intensified in the province in the past two months. Around 420,000 Yemenis forced from their homes are living in hundreds of makeshift settlements such as this. And the numbers keep rising. This camp is in a very bad condition. Some people have received food aid packages and others have not. Some people have received tents and others still have to live under the trees. Their situation is similar to that of homeless people who don't have anything. Aid is trickling in through Hodeida port, the gateway for 80% of Yemen's food and humanitarian assistance. But hope generated by the Houthi withdrawal from the city earlier this month is fading. There's fighting on the outskirts, raising concerns of the deepening humanitarian crisis growing even worse. Families such as Shafika's are struggling to survive, and the chances of aid agencies reaching their remote mountain camps appear to be fading. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.